Hey, it's Larry. NoMoreHoldingBack.com. Saturday morning, a little bit before 10 o'clock, I am driving over to, this is interesting, I'm driving over to do a private juggling workshop in a neighboring town called Southington. Actually, I used to live there. The first house that we bought, first condo that we bought was in this town that I'm driving over to now. I'm shooting one of the back roads that I'm taking to get there because it is a, as you can tell, it is just a, an amazing autumn morning. Foliage is about at its peak. I want to tell you why I'm doing this and how it happened because it relates to whatever is going on with you right now. Two years ago, in holiday time, 2006, early December, I was doing a workshop, juggling, speaking, entertaining, training workshop for a group called the Southeastern Connecticut Society of Human Resource Management. A whole bunch of human resource professionals. They were having their annual meeting and they brought in me as their speaker to juggle and train and entertain and it was great and I had a good time, sold a few books in the back of the room, had some fun, actually brought my daughter to it, that was the first workshop where I brought Jill as my <laughs> helper such as it is and it was great and one of the ladies there was very impressed, her name was Margot and we had a good time and that was the end of it, life moves on, so and so, about a month or so. I get an email out of the blue from Margo. She wants to hire me to show her and a few friends of hers how to juggle. This is not part of the group. This is just a private person who is doing her thing. We're coming up on Route 10 here, so I'm going to make my right turn. And I said, whoa. I kind of sort of knew who she was. There were a number of people in the room, and, and Margot being one of them, and it was great. And this was how I knew that what I had done that day had an effect. You know, I felt the great energy in the room. I knew some good stuff was going on, and I was pleased with it. When you get a call after almost two years has gone by from someone who remembers what you did on one workshop, on one December evening and wants to bring you in to work with herself and a, and a small group of friends privately <laughs> to show them that. And we had a great conversation. Um, you know, she's done some great stuff. She's written a couple of things. She's a cancer survivor. She writes about that. She does some um, training of her own. And I said, this is, this is my sign that what I'm doing has impact far beyond the moment in which I'm doing it. And what I'm saying to you is that the things that you're doing, there's two things I want to say to you here. What you do leaves a wake, kind of like a boat. You do something and then there's a trail that follows you, sometimes for years, sometimes for a lifetime. And you don't necessarily see it while it's happening, but everything that you're doing, big and small, it impacts those around you, and sometimes in ways that they don't know and sometimes in ways that they do. So you kind of have a responsibility in a way. Be your best self. Put your best foot forward because people are watching whether you know it or not. The second thing I want to say, and this is really about, this is really an economic issue as much as anything else. You have skills. You have value to the marketplace that you might not be aware of. There are ways of filling up your time. There are ways of doing things. I'm trying to look for the right words here. I happen to have a skill that most of the rest of the world doesn't have. I'm a juggler. It just <laughs> it is what it is. You know the story if you've watched some of my other stuff as to how I became a juggler. But you have skills. And you have time and you probably have the resources to market yourself. You know, it could be that you need another 500 bucks a month to help make a mortgage payment. Maybe you need the 500 bucks a month to just reduce tension so that you're not thinking about it so much. And maybe you don't need that 500 bucks, but it's going to make you feel a whole lot better. Man, there are ways to get it. I want you to find them. 
I want you to go out and create some new realities for yourself. You know, I'm doing it by juggling. What do you have? And don't tell me there's nothing, because there is. There always is. What do you have that other people are calling out for? You don't know the answer to that? Get still and quiet. <laughs> and breathe into it. I guarantee you there's something. Guarantee you that car. Nice old Corvette Stingray. Sunburst yellow. Now get me one of those. Okay. Coming up on my location. If they let me, there's going to be some cool video from this particular little lesson today. Thanks for keeping me company on the drive over. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.